Hi, you guys. I'm Phil Town from Rule One Investing. And today I want to talk to you about dividend stocks and how important they can be if you know your stuff. If you guys have followed me for any amount of time, you've heard me throw around the term dividend stocks. And maybe some of you have experience with them or at least understand what they are at the most basic level. Or maybe some of you guys are expert at it. But today, I really want to dive into dividend stocks and help you understand why Rule 1 investors don't love them, don't desire them, like don't, don't reach out for them like our special thing. Plus, I can teach you all about choosing the right ones with a five-step checklist, which I think you can find at the link below if you'd like. So let's get started on dividends. Consider this a crash course for you. First, let me clarify what dividend stocks are. Dividends are a distribution of a company's earnings to its shareholders, and they can be in the form of cash, property, or stocks. And some example of dividend stocks are Target, AT&T, Caterpillar, and so on. And what entices people to invest in a company that pays dividends is that they pay the shareholders real money in real time. And that's what kind of defines a dividend stock. A dividend stock is one where the company is clearly committed to constantly providing a dividend and most of them at raising them on some specific sort of level. So dividend stocks will pay you every three months, rain or shine, that's cash. And that can be a reliable source of income that a lot of people live off of. They call it clipping coupons, right? They're just living off those dividends. And by the way, if they're in a great dividend company, it will continue to grow those dividends over time, which is really cool. Now, another way to look at dividends is as a simple return of capital, right? So instead of spending the money, I'm basically putting it back into my portfolio as a return of capital and lowering the basis that I have of risk in that stock. Now, when we receive a dividend, that reduces the total cost of the investment. That's what we call a basis, right? And now let's dive into how do dividends relate to something very important called the allocation of capital. The allocation of capital is the most important job that a CEO has. That is really their main job. Allocation of capital falls into four discrete categories. The first allocation of capital is to keep the company going. Okay, we're gonna allocate capital to what we'd call working capital or just replacement of equipment. We're gonna keep the company going. The second allocation is to grow the company. Ideally, if a company can grow itself infinitely into the future, right, by using all of its capital, that's what we would prefer it to do. We would not prefer a company like that to pay us dividends or buy back its stocks, unless, of course, the stocks were super cheap, but mostly we want it just to grow. So a company with a very high return on invested capital, that's Nirvana. They can compound our money for us company that can do that might be growing our money at 30% a year. That's kind of hard to match up if they give me the money to do it with. All right. Now, if we use all this money to keep the company going and grow the company with a good return on invested capital, then we get to the third category, which is the purchase of stock back and giving capital back to shareholders, which kind of depends on the stock price relative to the stock value. I really have talked about this before, but I'll tell you, this fries my brain. When I see a CEO allocating my money, that's my money, that equity money, to buying back their stock when the purchase price is stupidly high, like IBM did for about 10 straight years. Just what that does is it just basically takes the money out in the parking lot, pours gasoline on it, and sets it on fire. It is idiotic capital allocation. And you can thank the CEO who did that for a year, uh, lack of re investment returns from IBM for the last decade. So the fourth way, and usually the last way of uh, allocating capital for a CEO is to pay a dividend. Getting dividends means that the company is making a lot of money, but cannot use that money to grow. And ultimately, we, we would prefer that they grow. But now this is a company that we really like. Um, it's just growing slowly but it's cash cow. It's just producing a ton of cash and they can't buy back their own stock because it's super expensive and the CEO is a smart guy or a smart lady and they know they're not going to do that. So then what they do is they pay it out as dividends. All right. And this brings up one of my other pet peeves and that is a company that is capable of growing fast, but is also locked into a dividend strategy to hold on to investors. What that tells me is the CEO is just basically trying to hold on to the stock price. He's trying to buy investors 
and keep the stock price up because maybe the stock price shouldn't be that high. And that's going to help him with his options and with his executive options. So it's a devious little strategy and I don't like it when they do it. There's nothing wrong with a dividend producing company, but when exactly should they do it? So first you got to know that the company isn't paying out more money than they're making in cash. This is a horrible thing. GM back in the day, right? When I was writing rule one, uh, back in 2002, 2003, was paying out more money in dividends than it was earning. Didn't even have that cash flow. So what it did is go out and borrow money in order to keep paying out the dividend, in order to basically fool people who are too ignorant about investing to look at the uh, the numbers that they've seen on GM. And they got fooled into holding onto the stock right until bankruptcy. I actually met an 83-year-old lady whose husband told her never sell GM. And she didn't know, she was just clipping the coupons and praying that it would continue to go. In the end, she lost all her money, and sad. And in the end, all of these people lost all their money because they just didn't understand how to invest properly. The most critical thing to know about that dividend is that it's typically going to be less than the cash flow of the company. This is called the payout ratio. The payout ratio is the number of earnings being paid out in the company relative to the total earnings of the company. So a decent payout ratio is like 50% or so. When a company's getting to 90% payout ratios, that's a little scary, all right? So we get a little worried there. So finding companies for the sole purpose of dividends, whew, man, it just doesn't make sense to us as rulers. You need to understand the business well enough to avoid making those kinds of bad decisions. If we're gonna have to get cash flow as a retiree, I'm gonna do it doing some very careful options trading that's very safe, hitting something like a 90 to 95 win ratio and create the cash flow that way rather than giving it to a company that's managed by somebody that doesn't allocate capital well. So we prefer that these companies invest their money into growing their business rather than distributing capital out as a dividend. That's gonna help increase the value of your shares over time. You can do some wonderful options trades against that future growth and it'll yield a much better result for you in the end. While dividends may seem really exciting and enticing, a true rule one company will invest in themselves to further their growth of their business. Now, I'd love to hear from you guys. Do you have any experience with dividend stocks? Do you love them? If so, what's your experience been like? So leave a comment below with your answer. I'll be sure to follow up with you. Thanks for watching. Now go play. Guys, if you enjoyed this video and you feel it was valuable for teaching you more about dividend stocks, just hit the like button. And by the way, please share the video with your friends. And if you want more investing content, subscribe to my channel. And by the way, again, don't forget, click the button on the screen. There's a free gift there. And thanks again for watching.